let's take a look. Let's take a, oh yeah, now we can see some coral, right? What's going on everybody? Welcome back. So, we are going to be looking at a new product from Reefing Art. I have ordered from them multiple times. This is a company that makes those really nice acrylic frag racks that I use. It also They also make that really um, tall frag rack that's adjustable. Really like the company, really like the quality. So what this video is about is I got a new phone. This is my old phone, okay? And my old phone, the camera was high up on the edge of the phone. Well, the one that we're actually using right now that we're looking at, the camera lens is lower. So all of my um, filter clips for filming my tank did not work. So I had to get something new ASAP. I went onto Amazon, I started looking up, and sure as could be, when I saw Reefing Art, I was like, nah. -uh. So I looked at it, and theirs is a little bit different than all the others out there. So it was an easy purchase for me, for one, because I know their quality, I've ordered from them before, and two, the way that the design is that I'll show you actually here in a second. I'm not going to do some crazy unboxing. I already did the unboxing. In it, you do get this paperwork. So if you guys want to screenshot that and read it so you can see all the stuff that it comes with. Now, this, I will leave a link to the description down below. I'm going to unbox it or open it up, actually look at it for the first time, take it upstairs and see what we can come up with with combinations. Now, $29.99. This was an easy buy for me because look at all the stuff you get. Look at all the stuff you get. You get six different lenses. You get a cap, right? That's important. You don't want to get dust all over your lenses. And then when you go to take a picture or a video, it's all nasty. You do get a nice little cleaning cloth. I really, I really, really like that it comes with this. I've actually been keeping mine in a little baggy when I go places. This is just going to make things things so much easier. This is pocket size for me. This is pocket size. So now here's the difference with the clip. You guys can see here the way that this runs, which we'll say now is horizontally. Um, the other ones go this way. So when I put it on my phone or on my new phone, the lens was actually like kind of like that, and it was it wasn't long enough and when I was making, trying to make a video, there was this dark ring, like right around here on the screen. It was all black because this wasn't going in far enough. Well, when I saw this, I already knew, look, I can, it's awesome. I'm pretty sure this clip will work with any phone. I can't guarantee that because I don't know all the phones out there. I know they have phones with the clips on the sides, which will totally work. You could even have it like this, like that. I know they have cameras where there's lenses where there's two lenses going this way and I also know that there's cameras where the lenses or phones where the lenses are going like that on the corners so you could see that I can use this this way any way I want especially this is the most important for me so I'm really really glad that I found this thank you reefing art for coming up with something different now let's take a quick look at the lenses and what I want to do is I'm going to go upstairs and look at the see what kind of combinations work best for my tank and my lighting. First, you do get the the standard orange lens. This is usually everybody's favorite choice, but I've seen some other combinations out there. This is the 15000 lens, okay? Or the 15K. The next one is this is that yellow one. This is the 20K. Then we have this is the um, CPL lens, CPL lens. This is for glare on the tanks. This helps reduce glare outside, whatever. The next one is, this is the macro lens. Everybody loves the macro lens for, look at that. It's, it's like a magnifying glass. Look, 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 look. You want to get those really good close-ups of your, uh, you know, Zoas or something like that. That's the lens that you're going to want to use. Then we have the gradual yellow lens. This is going to be cool. Because you see how it's the 50-50? There's another one. Yep, here's the 50-50 orange. So these are kind of cool because you can mix match. You can do all kinds of funky stuff. And what I think this is going to be good for me is when I'm doing videos, if I'm at a show or whatever, I can actually have this on my camera or on my phone, record a tank instead of taking the clip off and putting it in my pocket or whatever. 
this rotates freely. See? This rotates freely, so when I want to record tanks, I go like that. If I want to record buddies or myself, I switch it to that. I don't even have to take the clip off. So, let's go upstairs. I'm going to uh, see what kind of lighting is going right now. I'm going to mess around with it, and then we'll take a look at the tank with the best combination that works for me. All right, so this is the way the tank looks right now with no filter on. Sometimes you may see videos just like this. And you're thinking to yourself, man, that is just so blue. Like, you can't even see this coral right here. You can barely see that one right there. You can't even really see these zoanthids right here. So that's why it was very important for me to get a phone filter since my last one didn't work anymore. You know, for the price, $30 with all these attachments, I think it's important because everybody's tank has different lights, different intensities, different settings, different water clarity, so everything looks different. So with all these, you have all kinds of options. The option I've actually gone with is, um, on the bottom here, it's the 20K lens, and then stacked on top is the 15K lens. Let's take a look, let's take a, oh yeah, now we can see some coral, right? Now everything looks really, really good. Very, very happy with my purchase. It's gonna be, used quite a bit and everything looks really good look everything's starting to pop yep I like it now right now I'm only running two reef brights and two blue plus bulbs very soon the other two bulbs will come on which is another blue plus and a purple plus and that changes the way things look so at that time I might have to come up with a different color combination you know what I'm gonna do what we're going to do is we're going to keep this lens going. We're going to keep the same one. I'm going to try and hold the camera still, go into my phone app, and uh, manually turn on the other two bulbs, and we'll see how it looks. And look at that. Same exact lens setup. Just turned on two more bulbs. Look, this is actually freaking unreal. Look how, look at the color of the sand. That is white little bit of a blue tone to it from the lights being on but that is some white sand all these corals look really natural they don't have that crazy pop because that purple plus bulb that I'm using uh, adds a little bit of white to the tank but you can really really see how the rocks are covered in coralline now you can really see you know all the the spots and this would actually help me find if I have any algae on the rocks which I don't but everything looks really good with this as well. Again, not a lot of pop, but super, super clear. There's Bob down there. Say hi to Bob. Hi, Bob. How squishy, Bob. That's my uh, A-can. Oh, look at these over there. Look at those A-cans. We're not going to get too up close and personal with these frags. I want to save that for that uh, update that I'm going to be doing in about three or four weeks. But, yeah, everything looks good. I'm really glad that I purchased it. Even the Chromis looks super blue. Look at that. Really pretty looking. Look at these guys. Everybody's doing well. But, yeah, that's it. Again, check out the uh, link in the, in the description. Got them on Amazon. It was like $29.99 shipped. Awesome. Really good purchase. You get the carrying case. You get the lens cover. Um, six lenses to choose from. That is a dang good combination to run with. You got six different things. You got the 50-50s of the 20K and the 15K. The solid 20K, 15K, you get the macro lens. You get the um, polarized lens. You get the lens cover and the carrying case. That's awesome. Freaking awesome. Again, I want to thank them for making you know, such a good quality, you know, reefing art makes really good quality, look, there's my, there's their frag rack in the back, look at that, perfect, love it, love their frag racks, really, really nice, thanks guys for, you know, making the good stuff, really appreciate when a company says, you know what, I feel like they watch and listen and make things so that they're good, you know, we've seen some uh, you know, companies make frag racks like this, and within a month or two, the magnets are completely rusted out. Well, these have been in my tank for months and months and months, and perfect. Really good, really good. 
All right, that's it for now, guys. Hope this video was uh, maybe educational, right? If you don't have a phone clip, you know, a gel filter phone clip for your phone, this is the one that I'm going to be recommending to everybody from now on. 30 bucks, six lenses, carrying case, can't beat it. Try and find something like that anywhere. If you can find one just like this cheaper, let me know. Let me know. That's it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Later. All right, I just want to thank you guys again for stopping by. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And while you're here, hit that little crab icon to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell for any future videos or updates. And in case you haven't seen these two videos, you might want to click on one and check it out. Again, thanks for stopping by.